The Tab 80 and Tab 88, also known as the ZTC80 and ZTC88, represents a significant advancement in China's ammo warfare capabilities. As second generation main battle tanks, these figures have evolved from earlier designs and have played critical roles in various military operations, both within China and abroad. In the 1970s, the People's Liberation Army was primarily equipped with the Tab 59, a copy of the Soviet T-54, which had become outdated against contemporary Western and Soviet tanks. The PLA sought to develop a new MBT to meet modern combat requirements, leading to the initial development of the Tab 69 medium tank. Despite its technological improvements, including a laser range fighter and two plane stabilization, the Tab 69 fell short of PRA expectations and had limited domestic success. Recognizing the need for a more capable MBT, China initiated further tank development, resulting in the Tab 80 and subsequent prototypes. The Tab 80 marked a pivotal shift in Chinese tank design, featuring a lengthened hull, composite armor, and a turret system derived from the Tab 79 series. It was equipped with a 105mm L7 based rifled main gun, significantly improving its firepower compared to earlier models. Additionally, the Tab 80 incorporates advanced fire control systems and better protection features, setting the stage for future developments. The Tab 80 showcases impressive specifications, with a width of 30 tons, a length of 9.3 meters, a width of 3.4 meters, and a height of 2.3 meters. It is powered by a diesel engine providing a maximum road speed of 60 km per hour and an operational range of 430 km. The crew of four members, driver, commander, gunner, and loader. It is armed with a 105mm main gun, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and a 12.7mm heavy machine gun for anti-aircraft defense. The vehicle's armor protection includes composite materials and steel skirt armor, enhancing its survivability on the battlefield. The Tab 80 was designed for versatility, capable of amphibious operations through the use of a snooker. The Tab 80 has given rise to several variants, including Tab 81, an export variant featuring a routed steel cast turret and slightly modified 105mm main gun. The Tab 82, a more advanced version with an improved fire control system, nuclear, biological, chemical protection suit, and increased internal storage. The Tab 85 series is an offshoot that includes the Tab 85-1. Tab 85-2 and the modernized Tab 85-3, which boasts a 1000 horsepower engine and supports explosive reactive armor. The Tab 88 designations correspond to local Chinese military versions, with the Tab 88B serving as the Tab 82 for Chinese service and the Tab 88C representing the more advanced Tab 85-3. The Tab 80 and its variants have seen service primarily within the Chinese military until around 2005, when they were phased out in favor of more modern tanks like the Tab 99. While no longer in active service in China, variants like Tab 85 remain in use with several international operators, including Pakistan, Sudan, and Uganda. The Tab 85 2M variant 
known as the Arbashia, has been notably employed in various military operations, underscoring its adaptability and reliability in combat scenarios. As of 2020, it is estimated that around 3,000 units of the Type 80 and 88 family have been produced, indicating significant production efforts and continued relevance in certain armed forces. The Type 80 88 family has played a vast role in shaping ammo warfare in various contexts. Its design features such as advanced fire control systems and enhanced mobility allow it to engage effectively in modern combat environments. The capability for amphibious operations extends its utility in diverse terrains, making it a versatile asset in regional conflicts. Despite being outclassed by newer models, the Type 80 88 remains an important example of China's ammo evolution and reflects the country's historical efforts to modernize its military capabilities in response to perceived threats. While the Type 80 ATS series has largely been succeeded by more advanced models, the potential for upgrades exists. Modernization efforts could include the integration of improved sensors, advanced ammo systems, and enhanced propulsion system, extending the operational life and existing tanks in various militaries. Furthermore, as countries look to bolster their defense capabilities, the Type 80 88 could see continued interest in international markets, particularly in regions where budget constraints limit access to newer, more expensive MBTs. The export potential of the Type 80 88 family remains viable, especially for our nations seeking reliable, cost-effective ammo solutions. As military dynamics evolve globally, older models like the Type 80 88 can still serve important roles in national defense strategies. The Type 80 and 88 main battle tanks represents a critical chapter in the development of Chinese ammo forces. From their origins in the late 20th century to their ongoing service with foreign militaries, these tanks reflect the technological advancements and strategic priorities of the PRA. As military needs continue to evolve, the legacy of the Type 80 88 will endure, influencing future tank designs and operational doctrines. <laughs>